Happy over a Wednesday stroke Thursday. Hope everyone's doing well. Just a quick, well, I say, I say a quick one every time. You don't see me doing this much. Beer. I mean, <clears throat> this is the dry stout out of the Bible. So I kegged it. I did have a problem at the beginning when I overfilled it and it was coming out of the gas lines. But I sorted that. It is a bit cold. So, what a cracking drink that is. Um, so it's not a Bible, I think it was about 50 or 50 grams, 100 grams of um, chocolate malt I put in. I know it asked for, and I put 225 grams in. And I've got the same amount again, so make it again. Definitely gonna make this. He's, I've tried a few few other stouts, and they're a bit red and ice, um, from other people. But the stouts I've done from the kits, this is a lot better than ones that what I've made and what the kit stouts. It really is nice. Real steam, malty, chocolatey. Well, not a lot of chocolate, but I think the next one's going to be maybe more of a chocolatey one and maybe um, a coffee one. So this week, did, I wanted to do an all small grain brewing and I'll, I probably will do it tomorrow or Saturday. But, um, I spent, well, I've been all day all week, so I put my feet up. Man. Been to the allotment a few times, started plot, do, doing a bit of bob. Oh, I'm not starting it again. Went to allotment beginning of the week and um, started doing some bits and bobs on there, trying to get, <coughs> get, trying to get back into the back. Bloody hell! Right, start again. Been to lot at the beginning of the week and getting on with that best I can. So I, I was being a bit lapsed daisy, not going, finding other things to do, but I need to get my ice into gear, get down there, get it sorted. That's what got me into making my wine, so I need to get back on there, get the real bab going. And more more beer and more wines. Talk about real bad beer. I've done a real bad extra extract beer this week. Did it on I think it was Monday or Tuesday, M Monday, no, Saturday, I should have started this again, did it on a Saturday, but I used the Ollot and Barrett malt, ex malt extract instead of the Coopers, and I've put, and I didn't use any spray malt, I substituted it with the Ollot and Barrett extract, so I think I put about six or seven jars in, and the kilo and a half of rhubarb, the 200 grams of marisota steeped, then fuggles, put the fuggles in that th 30 minute boil, th th 30 grams at 30 minutes, 15 grams at 15 minutes, and 25 grams at dry hopped, which I've just done yesterday. I forgot to put my toy fried wheat in, so I don't know what it's gonna come out like. I've checked it yesterday, I've re-wrapped it off the rhubarb, Dry out it with the fuggles. It's cloudy as hell. Cloudy as hell. And the last lot never it won it was quite clear. So I'm hoping it'll clear out over the next few days. I've got to gonna keg me whole, 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 whole melon smash. So I've just tried that, see what see what see what's like. So I did the like a pale ale with it with the whole melon and I liked it. So I thought oh, I'll just try it. Simple recipe, and I did. I tried to taste it a few days ago. And I think, oh, I want so keen. Tasted it yesterday when I took another reading, and it, it's improved. So I think maybe later on today, or tomorrow, it'll go in the keg. Other things I've got left in the keg is the, I said the stout, which is going down too quick, and, and the last few dregs of the drop kit near, which I increase the hops. So I think I've got 200 grams of hops in it all together, and that's gonna kick in the next couple of pounds, I think. I keep taking a little bit at a time, making sure I last, but it's gonna kick. But so like I've got that, that smashed beer to put in there, I've got the rhubarb beer to put in there once that's finished. So, um, what else? So I've been all day, couldn't really do any brewing in the old grain brew, because I have to do it in the porch, or I do it in the conservatory, and if I've had that much rain, I can't do it because I said the door's going to be open. And 
it's just going to get water inside it. So I think tomorrow is supposed to be a better day. So I might do an all grain tomorrow. I want to do two. I want to do the Irish Red Ale and maybe maybe this, this stout again. What else has happened this week? Oh, <coughs> there's a few there's a few chaps. We've got a whole homebrew on Facebook, which I belong to, and they started doing some meetings. They did a meeting just before Christmas. I couldn't go because I was on call, but we had we had another meeting this week. The last time they did the meeting, we did it in the, they did it in one of the pubs in the city centre, Fairs and Co. This time we did it. Well, yeah, we did it. I went to it. Tell it this is right, bloody shambles. We did a homebrew meeting yesterday at the Atom Brewery in Hull. The chief head brewer, Jack Walker, he invited us all to his digs, the um, the brewery, sampled quite a few of his beers, and also we sampled the rest of our beers, what people took in. There's probably about eight or nine of us that went, and we all took beers each. And some of the beers, well, all the beers were brilliant. I mean, I, I took me, my rhubarb beer, I took a drop kit in there. I took one of the last of the speckled hen clones, which I want to impress with when I, when I brewed it, and I took about 12 bottles of wine. Basically, they tried the wine, and the rest of the wine, everybody could take it home. I've got nothing in the shed, but it was, a, it was, it was brilliant. But we, we went at seven o'clock, and I think I got home about 11, and I wasn't I want feeling so good this morning, because I, we could go on, try some of these beers, he had some, I can't remember all the beers. I'll try and put a list of the beers down below. If not, I'll put a link to his website. But it was it was a brilliant night. Because I learned bits and bobs off everybody. So obviously some people have been brewing for years and years and years. And obviously the, say Jack, he's the head brewer at Atom. And the, the amount of knowledge that he knows and what he's learned is, is brilliant. I mean, so it, we can, we, 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 we can all get in contact with him, any information, even if we want to buy any grains, we can go straight to him and get the grains from him, which is pretty good really. So it was it was a bit like, I'm hoping they're going to try and do one every, the first Wednesday in every month, first Wednesday in a month. I'm hoping to do it at the brewery again, which is it, it's brilliant. I mean, it's, it's central for everybody, near enough. So it, it was it a was good, good laugh. So... So if I can make it next time. If I'm on call, I say I can't. I say drink, but I'll, I'll go and drink his coffee. Apparently, he's, he's an expert in coffee as well. So he's an expert in beer and an expert in coffee. So one talented man. So I better crack on. So yeah, in the middle of starting doing tea, and I try and upload this before I go to bed. So sorry if I've waffled on. And thanks very much, everybody, for the new subscribers. Much appreciate it. I do try and watch as many videos as I can. I've, I ain't done many this week, but for some reason, YouTube's updated and half the videos have gone. So, what what meaning to watch? So, uh, I'll try and backtrack somewhere along the line if I can find some. But at the moment, I'm just waffling on and I'm keeping you from your daily duties. So, I'll catch you all later. Thanks very much. And I'll catch you soon. Cheers.